Hello everyone. So welcome back again. So in this video, we are learning about a motion, describing the motion of a particle which is projected, which is projected at an angle theta, uh, and it is less than some say ninety degrees. Okay, fine. Other than ninety degrees, you can say directly. So. how we can understand it clearly see an example in childhood we all might have been played catches so that is nothing but a group of people or a children standing at one place and another group standing at other place throwing a ball at each other so you will be throwing a ball so that the ball reaches vertical i mean uh, travels through vertical distance as well as it also covers the movement along horizontal direction also so there you can see that particle is executing motion along x axis and its motion along y axis also so done so that is a particle executing motion in two dimensional right so that particular particle we can name it as a projectile so projectile is nothing but any body any body projected at an angle any body projected at an angle other than 90 degrees other than 90 degrees and that to this angle whatever we are considering here this should be clearly i am saying i mean not a compulsion the problems will be given at different things also right so but for basic mm, requirement as a basic requirement we can say this other than 90 degrees and this angle should be made with horizontal clear this one should be made with a horizontal and such a particle we call it as a projectile such a particle we call it as a projectile and this projectile exhibits its motion along both x axis and also y axis excuse me along x axis as well as along y axis so that is nothing but in two dimensions or along two axis the motion of a particle is been described and such a particle we are calling it as a projectile and the motion in which a particle is moving in such a path we call it as a projectile motion and the path which this particle takes is always a parabola so what is that path called parabola so that's it so the projectile always takes a path called parabola and if you just want to see some examples for projectile directly you can say Uh, like a bullet fired from ground a bullet fired from gun a bullet fired from gun this is the best example or else in olden days we have seen some like in wars a uh, cannon firing a big ball right uh, like a iron ball like an like you can say like uh, what you can say iron ball which acts like a like bullet only a bigger one right and also you can say in bahubali you have seen right the prabhas will be throwing a big big stones onto the what you will say that kalike gang so all those come under your projectile examples only and if you want to say neeraj chopra the indian sensation so javelin okay right so javelin thrown by an athlete that is nothing but by neeraj chopra is also an example for what you can say projectile so done so this is what your projectile and there are few assumptions about this projectile which you need to be taking into consideration and then only you can understand the uh, motion of this particle that is nothing but projectile and you can study easily so what are those assumptions i would like to mark it with some red so that you can easily remember the things so what are they the first one is the free fall acceleration okay the free fall acceleration the free fall 
acceleration g whatever we call it as acceleration due to gravity is constant is constant during the motion is constant during the motion of the projectile and also we know that the acceleration due to gravity is produced due to the gravitational pull of earth so therefore the direction is always downward so it is directed always downward it is directed always downward so very important so if the motion is taken in against this one we will be taking negative and all whatever the sign convention we are very much uh, well known things those all things right so the second assumption is here the effect of air resistance is considered to be negligible what am i saying the effect of air resistance is considered as negligible okay so these are your what you call assumptions so that you can understand or explain the projectile motion at an easiest way and see under these assumptions under these under these assumptions only the projectile will be having a path and that path of the projectile we considered as a parabola so path of projectile will be parabola when when under these circumstances or whatever we say under these assumptions only so under these assumptions if you just consider a projectile motion then the path of that projectile will be a parabola so in this video we are just having an introduction to the para, uh, i mean like projectile only so there are some types of projectile also clear so there are types so those types we will see the first one is oblique projectile and we will cover these projectiles one by one in our next video slowly so second one is horizontal projectile so you can restrict these two projectiles to the main topic like je main topic and basic intermediate you can say and there is third one projectile on inclined plane the third one is projectile on inclined plane so these are your three types of projectile which will be discussed in our further videos so hope you understood thank you very much children